Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semi-circle with the center O along with these uh, two vertical segments uh, A, B and uh, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, B, D is the horizontal segment and moreover uh, this uh, A, B segment length uh, is 10 units the segment uh, c d length is uh, 20 units and this uh, horizontal segment uh, b d length uh, is 30 units and furthermore uh, this angle is 90 degrees and likewise this angle is 90 degrees as well and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested uh, in calculating the area of this given uh, semicircle. So therefore, we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. I'm going to label uh, the radius uh, as uh, lowercase uh, r. And we are going to find the value of lowercase r. And now let's make our observation. We can see that this whole uh, horizontal segment uh, BD length uh, is 30 units. I'm going to label this tiny segment uh, OD length uh, as uh, X. Then this uh, BO length uh, has got to be 30 minus uh, X. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. And in this uh, next step, I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, A. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AO is the radius of this my circle. So therefore, I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase r, whereas our two other legs are uh, 10 and 30 minus x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 30 minus uh, x whole square plus 10 square equal to lowercase r square. And now let's recall this famous identity. a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 times ab plus b square. We are going to apply this identity on this binomial on the left hand side. So therefore we can write 900 minus 60 times x plus x square plus 100 is going to be equal to r square. Let's combine the like terms. So therefore we can write x square minus 60 times x plus 1000 is going to be equal to r square. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect this center O with this uh, point uh, C. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see this uh, O C is the radius of this my circle. I'm going to label this one as uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle C D O. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. In our case, our hypotenuse is lowercase r. Whereas our two other legs are x and 20. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got x square plus 20 square equal to lowercase r square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 400 equal to lowercase r square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. And here we are ended up with these two equations, equation one and equation two. 
and we are going to compare these uh, two equations and we can see our right hand sides are uh, identical so therefore uh, I can equate uh, the left hand sides uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, x square uh, plus uh, 400 equal to x square minus 60 times uh, x plus 1000 and now we can see x square and x square they are gone so therefore we are ended up with the 400 equal to negative 60 x plus 1000 and now I'm going to drag this 60x uh, on the other side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move this uh, 400 in the opposite direction. So therefore, we can write uh, 60 times uh, x equals to 1000 minus uh, 400. So therefore, we can write 60 times uh, x equal to 600. And now we are going to divide both sides by 60 to isolate x. This 60 and 60 is gone. So therefore, our x value simply turns out to be 10 uh, units. So thus our x value turns out to be 10. And now we are going to focus on this equation too. And here I have copied down uh, equation 2. And now I'm going to substitute this uh, x value 10 uh, over uh, here. So therefore we got uh, 10 square plus 400 equal to r square or simply 100 plus 400 equal to lowercase r square. In other words, our r square value is going to be equal to 500. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area circle is always equal to pi times uh, r square, where lowercase r is the radius. So therefore, our semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, r square. And now our r square value is 500. I'm going to substitute that value 500 over here. So therefore, we can write uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 500 and that's going to be equal to 250 times uh, pi square uh, units the area of this uh, semicircle so thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 250 times pi square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 785.4 square units as well and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.